So now you're back to where we are. Here we are today. We, uh, I got up this morning, played, uh, did some fun times with the boys. Now I'm headed to do some interviews. All right, so that's done. Uh, did some uh, interviews. I was supposed to do five or six interviews in a sitting and I ended up doing three. I come to Best Buy a lot in this vlog, I know, uh, but I like to come and look at electronics. So it's part of my life, and Best Buy I get the points. Ooh, it's a gray day. Uh, that's cool, as I was checking out of Best Buy, here I'm leaving Best Buy. Uh, as I was checking out, I got a phone call and I got a, another gig. Uh, filmmaking up at Actors Training Center uh, in Wilmette. So just got a call that I'll be doing that uh, in June and uh, should be super fun. Woohoo! So I haven't been to the new Xfinity since they redid it all but it's brand new it's fancy. You're about to be on it here we go. Say hi to everybody. Hello, Let me put you everyone. in focus. There Welcome you go. to the world of Comcast Xfinity. When did you do all of the update? How long has it been up? About a year now. See, I haven't been in here all the time. <laughs> it's more than uh, 40. How's that? <laughs> it was a pleasure assisting you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Have a good one. And I'm on my way to the moth. Super fun times. It is uh, 6.30. I am running a little bit late because it is raining and thus traffic is just horrible coming down Ashland Avenue. Oh look, there I am. Finishing up a fabulous conversation with Tyler and Joel. Joel and Tyler having a wonderful conversation post the moth. We are in an empty bar and now we're headed home. Good night, Joel. I've been drinking. Good night, Tyler. See you in the car, Tyler. Good night, Joel. Okay, Tyler. You ready? Um, there's a bit of a delay. Yeah, there's a on delay this. on that. So but, and the thing to know is you have to really pick up, you, you have to talk, you have to use your stage voice. All right, so I'm not going to, um, <laughs> I'm not going to look at the thing, that the, the camera that Kyle gave me because it's very distracting. Um, there's like a 30 second delay. So when I talk 30 seconds later, something happens on the GoPro. Yeah. Um, which is disturbing. To say Look, here's where we are. We, we're leaving Kyle the Haymarket Pub. Trendsetter. Right, right now, we're leaving mm -hmm. the Haymarket Pub. We had a great The Moth tonight. The Moth. <laughs> well, what do you call it? Trademark. I you, call you it don't yeah, put we had the a good show. We had a good show, man. We had a good show tonight. There's a bar uh, that I've been kicked out of before. Great. Oh, that's a cool sign. We had a private conversation. They just added that. I, I wasn't going to say what we talked about. I just said we it had a, a cool conversation. cool sign, but we can't look at the sign because you have a GoPro, Kyle. But look, I also have another camera that I can cut between oh, two. Wow. Cut to cool sign. And the green light. Oh, wait. It's not green yet. Oh, that's a sweet shot. That's cool. Fulton Market District. I'm going to roll the window down so I can see it. It's nobody's it looks cooler without it. Behind me. Oh, good shot. What a shot. That's cool. That's new. I don't know how long that's been there. But that's cool. We have a regular uh, Quentin Tarantino interview. Um, what can we talk about that's going to be interesting to these people? 
I don't know. Do you feel weird you feel because you stream. don't have a camera? No, no, I feel great. I feel. Like, I actually feel like with this camera poised where it is, I can be myself. Right. Um, you can just talk as opposed to yeah, just be myself. Performing. I think you. I think you took the uh, the uh, tension out of the experience. <laughs> Pressure, you know. Uh, I don't have okay. to do anything. You just have to be, Tyler. Just be. I'm kind of sad. My husband's out of town. Well, he got a new job, and he was flown from Montreal to Philadelphia. Wow. He's now in Philadelphia, not responding to my texts, <laughs> which are hour ahead. He right. doesn't usually sleep. I don't know. So whatever. it's it's midnight twenty there. It's new for me, okay. Uh, User interface designer for uh, enterprise software and businesses. So businesses hire his consulting firm to make uh, sweet apps for them, basically. And, oh, we're not moving. Everybody thought we were moving in that Facebook post. We're not moving, okay? That's great. I, that's what I like to Despite hear. Despite the fact, because well, I'd but hate let's to talk lose about. Okay, let's. My let's friend Tyler. This, let, you're not gonna lose me if I move anywhere. First of all, number one. Well, number I would two, definitely not see you as often if you moved to Philadelphia. Yeah, fair enough. Let's talk. <laughs> let's talk. I think it would be fun though to play a little game, Kyle. What's that? What is it about Chicago that that makes it, that compels us to stay? Because I was just in Montreal, uh -huh. and granted, like you know, we were staying in the French area of Montreal, and it's beautiful, and uh, a little bit of Paris uh, influence, and then you know, like yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just I'm finishing my point. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, my my cell phone went off, but I'm trying to finish my point. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm now you're gonna edit all this out. I am. Like, because I thought I was hearing things and I needed to be clear that I'm not hearing things. So, say, it, what is it that compels us? You were in Montreal. I'm going to start again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. um, so, one thing I think is really interesting, especially in a city like Chicago, Kyle, is, is we have a lot of theater friends and they're, also, they're all talking about either starting their own business or leaving, you know? And they're constantly doing that, right? And so you and I, you know, you have children who are adorable. We see them on the, on the vlog, okay, I'll call the it The Daily Reel. The Daily Reel, is that the new thing? That's what I'm trying, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. So I've laid, was I? laid my roots okay, here. Okay, so, you, so, so you, you've laid your roots here, and, and I too have, have laid my roots here. My it's husband is working uh, in, in, in Chicago, and I'm working here for, for public radio and at the Moth, and, 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 and I see uh, a terrain that is ripe for, uh, for interesting experiences with people. Like, I enjoy being around people, creating experiences where they can have fun, and uh, having a good time with my life. And so, but my question remains, what is it that causes people to stay in this town? I'm fascinated by it because so many people of immense talent leave our yeah. fair city for LA or for um, but the, uh, the Chicago, th for New York. And, and I will say like a couple of guys who I was really kind of obsessed with um, uh, and, 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 I'm, and, and potentially could have married, although I married the best one. Uh, left New York, LA. Well, but I was gonna say you said a lot of talented people leave Chicago. Mm -hmm. But what is fascinating, and the flip side of that story, is a lot of talented people stay in Chicago. That's right, but why do they stay? So let's play that game. Why do people and, stay in Chicago? And the reason why, though, like. Before we get to the why they stay, the reason why you never hear about the talented people that stay is because Chicago is not built to create stars, I believe. I believe Chicago is built uh, for this uh, team effort, a group uh, camaraderie. Mm -hmm. like. Like, people generally don't do things, and this is, like, it's 
for me it started with theater but it, it goes beyond theater to just life in general like you don't hear about like superstars in Chicago whether they be superstars well you hear about them but they, they become famous elsewhere right you hear about their roots Because, I mean, in if you want me to open up Wikipedia right now and, like, read you the list of people from Chicago, I will, but I don't think it's necessary. I, the thing is, like, my, that's my question, is why do they have to when you're literally because looking at the most economic, beautiful skyline in the world right now? Because, I mean, I mean it's, like, it's economics. Well, like, somebody needs to create a circumstance around which these people can thrive. I, I don't disagree with you, but it's I... It's ridiculous. It's, it's also... And this city's screwed up, too. Like, we have a lot of problems. Enormous. A lot of it's problems just, in the city, politically, socially. We have a huge, huge problem in the city of, of neighborhoods and the disparity that exists between them. Like, that is a big, big, big problem. And I think that, like, despite the fact that we're like, oh, Chicago's a great place to make art and, like, you can do stuff. Like, that is, that is, is, that is, is one a, part is of a it. huge problem that is a part of that. So, yeah. we're, we are our own unique ecosystem. But sure, sure. My, I return to my question, which you still have not answered, by the way. Well, As I'm a person who's answer. lived here a lot, like, what is a reason? What is one reason that Janet Brooks stays in Chicago? What oh, is a reason? Yeah. Like, what is a reason that um, Carol Frome decides to continue directing plays here? Every person that I interact with here in Chicago who has stayed seems like they're interested in starting a family. And I don't know if that has to necessarily be bound by like, and dare I use this word, and I hate this word, heteronormative constraints. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily mean, I mean, the theme of tonight's story is like siblings, right? It doesn't have to be a traditional family. You can start a life here where you have your crew. You know? right. It could be, it could be in your case, Kyle, your wife and your children. It could be in my case, my husband or future children family um it could be any of these things but like you're great like you said like i came to chicago and it was within a year probably i think it, yeah i think it was a year someone like started asking me about do you have you ever thought about being an ensemble member in a theater company and i was like no but like yes that's exactly why i'm here is to find my new family, my new community, my new, so like you're saying, my crew, like that was why I said, and that's how I then I think, met I think my wife who, and I think had a family. part of the reason people stay in Chicago is that family is important. It's, yeah, it's, and, and maybe you can do that in other cities, like that's what I, that's, that's what I feel like we're victim of doing here in Chicago is being like, we love each other, we are so happy, uh, you know? and it's like people in New York are like, fuck you dumbasses like of course we do that too. we're happy too and stars <laughs> stars my favorite band from montreal i'm sure they are looking at you know they're not watching this video maybe they are but they're looking at it and they're like oh we had that in montreal like you know so part of it is your own onus but i think that i honestly think that the city is unique you know and maybe somebody who was born in new york is like you guys are nuts like i don't want to <laughs> live there sounds like a boring ass place to live yeah, I don't. My, my. I hope this my, is. I, I honestly, Kyle, I hope this is recording because this is some of the smartest stuff I've ever said. <laughs> I mean, this this is literally like so smart. This like, is my gold. I mean, this is like pure, pure, pure gold. Oh wait, I forgot to press the red button. I'm just kidding. I will murder you. Did we answer the question? What the, do you think, people? We want to know. Question, the question is unanswerable. We want to know, like, Ike Holter. I want. I want to know, Ike Holter. Ike Holter, here, here, hold here. on. Shh. This is a call out to Holodazzle. Holodazzle, listen. Okay? <laughs> and yes, I did just say Holodazzle. Okay, out loud. Um, first question Bieber or Jon Snow? But answer it. <laughs> I know you have an opinion. Number two, why do you, and I know that you go to Philadelphia, you go to New York, people put on your work because they like it, and they should because it's awesome, but why do you plant your roots in Chicago? Ike Holter, specifically, I am talking to you, Ike Holter, because I think that you represent a certain person in this town who could easily just be like, peace, mofos, I'm, I'm going to NYC and doing my thing. And you've done that, granted, you, did, you deserve it, uh, but, you, but you live here still, as far as I know. So tell me why you stay. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. We'll see. Tag him. Isaac Ike on Facebook. Tag I'm a, him. I'm, we're friends. 
But take my, him. So my point is, the question is not answerable. Doug Peck, why do you, you stay here? All you can do Doug is Peck. get get varying people's takes. <gasps> yes, but Doug Peck and Ike Holter and Kyle Hammond. And that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, and so like, that's the best histories. way to to try and like quote unquote get an answer. But there is no answer. It's you have to figure that out for you, Ru- for yourself. Ru- I was starting to say Ru- yourself. Paul. You have to figure yourself. that out for RuPaul. RuPaul needs to come to Chicago is the moral of the story. You have to figure it out for yourself. Okay, girl, I'll work. Okay. I think the answer should be that Kanye needs to get off my tail. Get off my tail. Please bleep it. Ike will appreciate it. Kyle, this was such a lovely conversation. Right. Has anybody seen my blue uh, apron uh, video? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right, Tyler's out. Now I'm going home. Tops of trees.